welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're fishing Board Beach, which is on the West Wales coast near Aberdovey. It's a well-known beach. Um, it's well known for its small-eyed ray fishing, um, flat fish species as well. You pick up flounders, turbots, stuff like that. Um, also a very good place for bass. As you can see today, we've got ideal conditions for the fishing. You've got nice tables of water coming in, breaking all the way in. Generally, I'd say you don't want to cast too far here. If you're a short caster, this could be a, place, a good place for you to fish. The left hand rod is a two-hook flapper. I've got some little bits of squid on there. My black lug has not defrosted yet. What I'd like to do is fish some little bits of squid with black lug. Hopefully, we'll get out some flounders. The other rod I'm fishing, it's got a pulley rig on there, the four to five foot pulley rig I normally use. Sand eel and squid wraps, that sort of thing. Um, I may also go straight squid, small squid baits. The target fish for today, to be ideal, would be small eyed rays, bass and flounder. If we've got any of them out today, I'd be well happy. We've literally been fishing 15, 20 minutes, if that. Nice and simple fishing today, nothing complicated, just get out, enjoy a session out in the sun again. I'm off work like before. Conditions are perfect, I think we've got a bit of a northwesterly today. So if you do fish this coast and there's a northwest, 10, 15 mile an hour northwesterly is perfect for you. There may be a bit of wind noise on the microphone, I've got it hidden inside my coat, so the sound might be a bit poor, but. That right hand rod has dropped back. It's gone slack. That's a sign of a small eyed raise hit it. Um, we'll keep an eye on it because we may have a bit of weed today as well. Low tide is half 11. We're probably here about an hour before low. Uh, plan will be to fish probably an hour down and an hour up. Something like that roughly. But it does depend on the fishing. If the fishing's on and we're catching, we'll probably stay on a bit longer. Short, sweet session, not much bait, not brought much bait at all. Uh, nice, cheap session, really. Right, I'll carry on fishing. Hopefully, we we'll get some small eyed rays, bass, or flounders out. What I thought I'd show is one of the sand and squid baits I've been making. As you can see there, that's the double sand and squid wrap. These have been made at home, vac packed down, ready to use. We've got a Koiki 4.0 hook there. You could go down to probably better 2.0. So, you can come in anywhere you want. I'm going to go in there, curl it back out. And that is how it'll sit like that. We'll bind this with a little bit of elastic now. Mainly around that high eye on the shank, as I always do. Just like this, plenty of elastic around the knot and around the eye of the hook. Just like this. Now, a lot of people have questioned me doing this, pre-wrapping them at home, saying when you cast that out, it's never gonna come off there easy. It's gonna be a mess of elastic everywhere. After, when I bring this bait back in, I'll show you. It doesn't happen like that. It's very, very rare you've gotta pick any elastic off doing it this way. So, Loads and loads and loads and loads around the eye and the knot. That's probably enough there, that hook's solid look. What I'll do, bring a bit more elastic down, just to hold the line straight. There's the eye, there's the main line. You want it straight down the bait. You don't have to, but this makes it a lot easier to cut it off at the end. You know exactly where your line's lying. So, same again, up and down, up and down around where the line is there. To be fair, this bait's a little bit big for the small eyed rays. I'll put it out anyway, but bring the panel hook up, which is a Koiki 2.0 semicircle. I like to use a semicircle as the panel. I just, this is something I've always done. So, yeah, you've got the wide mouth specimen there, 4.0, and there's the 2.0 circle. So I'm gonna wrap the line around that three times, like that, and hook it back into the bait. You can come out the same way with both hooks like this. You can go out the opposite way. I don't know if it really makes that much difference. I've tested it and I can't see any difference, but there we go. Let's get this clipped up and cast out. I don't want to waste too much fishing time. We've only got about an hour left probably. So let's get it out there. You've seen the way I put these sand and squid wraps on. It's the double sand and squid, just like that. That's been fishing probably for a good half an hour. This is the way it's come back in. 
So, generally what I try and do, if you can, unhook the panel hook at the back, if you can, sometimes you can't. Um, right now it's struggling, so let's leave it in. What we're gonna do is cut up, we've got the main line running down there. So what we're gonna do is cut up the side of it with the scissors. Try not to cut your main line, you do sometimes, but if you look, cut all the way along the bait, right through, right up out to the end, like that. Now as you can see, the hook pulls out, all of them, and that is nice and clean. There is no elastic left behind, there's no mess on there. It's all there, look with the elastic in it. Don't throw this in the sea, it's absolutely plastic and elastic. Put it in your tub, take it home and just put it in the bin, it's not difficult. Um, you don't want dogs and stuff eating this on the beach, birds, anything. Not with that much elastic on it, it's not going to be good. But that's how you take it off, very simple, very quick and effective. So, get another bait on now, and we'll cast back out. What I'm actually going to try and do here, I'm not going to put a sand eel bait out. Um, that last little small eyed ray, I'm not 100% if I've videoed it, you know. I think I might have stopped recording. When I wound it in, the camera was recording, but I think I might have pressed stop and then spoke on camera showing the ray. But that took a tiny little thumbnail sized, does that big, little piece of squid on a two hook flapper, believe it or not. Never had that happen before, it's quite shocking, but then again, I suppose I've never really tried. Um, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna make up a really small squid bait, elasticate it well, just like this. Just in case, squid's gonna outfish the sand deal today maybe. Um, and this is quite a small bait. You're fishing for small, small loads. They're not very big here. Generally, the size I just had is the average size. So what I'm gonna do, elasticate this up like I wouldn't at home normally with my pre-made baits. Elasticate it really well. When I put it on the hook, I just elasticate it around the high and the shank, mainly. Like this, as you can see. That is a nice little, neat bait. What I'm gonna do, snip the ends off to trim it up, and we'll get it on a hook. Ah, uh, here we are. Nice little ray. It's on a single sand deal and a little bit of flapper squid on the end. Using a loop rig today, which is um, about six foot long. And it's sort of got these clips on it. They sort of have a bigger hook on the bottom for like a whole sand deal. And a smaller one on the top for the flatties with a sort of SRT spring. It's a long rig. So, oops, obviously clean ground fishing and uh, yeah, lovely slack line bite and a beautiful little ray. Time to get him back. Well, as you just seen, Mark's also had a small eyed ray now. That's roughly the average size from this beach. Average, I'd say. But no more fish to me yet. Yet, we'll see. But yeah, we've both had fish out. To me now, that's a perfect session. We've both had the small eyed rays. It's, yeah, you can't beat it. We've both had one each. We'll both go home happy. Hopefully, we've still got more time for fish. Mark's actually running because his other rod is now slack, I think. So he's trying to be fast to get his other rod because he's got another fish on. You can see him in the background legging it, look. You'll never see Mark run much, only for fish. So that other rod must be slack, so he might have another ray on there. Ray. Well, I'll walk you down the beach and I'll show you this fish. I'll grab it for you now, Mark. There we go. Nice little small eyed ray. Right there in the sun, look. Absolutely perfect. Let's give Mark his fish and Larry Munnock it. Hold it. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Another nice, not, nice little small eyed ray again. He's on a pulley drop down rig. Um, squid, sand eel. 
double sand deal and squid. Double sand deal and squid bait. But there we go. Absolutely perfect. He wants to be quick now because he's got no rods fishing, so we'll leave him alone, let him get baited up and get back out there. Yeah. But this is both beach, absolutely stunning place. Big massive flat stone beach really. It's a huge beach, there's no special spots to fish on here, it's all pretty much the same. But there you go, look. Nice, lovely surf running in, as you can see, this is what you want. It's absolutely perfect, it's not blowing too hard, it's spot on. Hopefully, my rods go at some point and I'll get more fish. We'll see. It'd be nice to see some flounder to be honest, some bass maybe. We've had three small lights out now, so I am not complaining. It's a brilliant day. Let's get back to the fishing. Might put some fresh baits out. Now he's going to pack up. We've had the three small eyed rays. Um, the fishing's not been too bad. It's been really good to be fair. We've achieved the target. It would have been nice to see some flounder and bass out, but don't always go like that, does it? I'm getting loads and loads of weed now the tide's turn. We did expect that. So what we're going to do, we're going to get packed up now and get some food. I'm going to get down to the other mark for high water. Hopefully, if that works out, there'll also be a video of that. I don't think I'll join them together, I'll keep them separate. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.